What should I talk about today? There's just a lot of good movies and a lot of bad movies. What should I talk about? Hey, Mario Fan 520. Who said that? What you up to, buddy? Whoa, 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 whoa. How the heck is my amiibo talking? Stop asking questions. I want to know why you didn't do a personal thoughts video on my upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie. What, you mean the movie that Sony's distributing? Come on, we all know that most of Sony's movies are terrible. At least they made some decent movies, even decent animated movies. Oh yeah, tell me some mo Sony movies that were actually good. Let's see, Angry Birds, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Smurfs, The Lost Village. And those are all kid movies. Yeah, but they're still good movies that were- You better do a review on me, or I'm gonna take down your channel and steal all your hard work. Do a personal thoughts video on my upcoming movie right now. Oh yeah? What if I decide I don't want to? Then I'll tell everyone that Open Season 3 is one of the greatest Sony movies of all time. Huh? No. No. Anything but that. Do not tell the fans that. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do the review. I'll do the review. Just leave me alone. <sighs> well, here's my personal thoughts video on the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So those of you don't really know that Sonic is getting his own live action movie, there's been like news all over the news has been on IGN and even IMDB and there's even proof that the Sonic the Hedgehog movie will be releasing in 2019. Now listen, I grew up on Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog was my character. He was one of my greatest video game characters aside from Mario. I love playing his games, I love watching his TV shows, even though my favorite TV show is Sonic X. Watch it all Saturday mornings with my best friend. Sonic X was my show. Sonic the Hedgehog was my childhood. And I was kind of excited to hear that they were making a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, but when I heard it was distributed by Sony, I had a lot of concerns. And this is going to be made by a new director. And when I first heard this movie was going to be distributed by Sony, I was very scared to see how this movie is going to turn out in the future when it comes out in 2019. I am really scared to see how this movie turns out. If, if, if they do... I know they're starting on this movie, they didn't even start filming it yet, it's in pre-production. And uh, it, I hope they finish the script, and if they do, I hope they finish it good. I hope they do it right to everyone's favorite uh, video game character and everyone's uh, favorite blue blur hedgehog. Basically the fastest thing alive. <clears throat> Flash does not count. And yes, this movie is live action, so you already know what you're going to expect. Sonic and all the other characters, they might be, there's a chance they might be CGI characters. The only character, the only human being in this movie might be Dr. Eggman. And unless they do something like where Sonic and friends go in the real world, like in the cities and stuff like that, like they do it with the Ninja Turtles, freaking Smurfs, like New York City or something like that. If they do something like that, the movie might end up bad. It's going to be hard to do something like that. Very hard, especially with one of the greatest video game characters of all time. It's gonna even be hard to create the storyline for this movie. Because you can't just go with the 90s Sonic the Hedgehog style. Sonic the Hedgehog has been developed for decades, and now you have to stick to what is present to the fans, to the new fans of Sonic the Hedgehog, not really the old fans. Focus on the old fans, but mostly the new fans, to picture what the movie's going to be about. But you can't really picture anything. It's really a big mystery on how this movie is going to turn out. And I'm very scared. I'm scared because this movie might end up bad like other video game movies. Now, I'm not saying all video game movies are bad. Because in my opinion, I do like the Angry Birds and the Super Mario Brothers movie. And this is not even the first time Sony announced that they were going to make a movie based off of a video game. Almost a year ago, I heard that Sony was, make, was, was planning on making and owning the rights to make a Super Smash Brothers and a Pokemon movie. Wow. That's really interesting. It might suck. But all the games are amazing. The Sonic games, the Pokemon games, the Smash Brothers games. We all love playing these games, and I would actually love to see Pokemon and Smash Brothers get its own movies. I would love to see Sonic get its own movies too, but if they do it very right, if they do it smart, you have to give the fans what they want. You can't just focus on your own style, unless you're only doing this for money. Who says you can't make a movie just for money? 
Shut up, Hedgehog. I'm reviewing you. And it's actually pretty kind of um surprising and actually pretty random that we're actually getting a Sonic the Hedgehog movie because today, like compared to Mario and Sonic, Sonic isn't really as big as Mario is today. Because we have like the Nintendo Switch and stuff like that, we're getting a lot of Mario games. We actually barely just got Sonic Mania, but Sonic hardly gets any video games anymore. Which is kind of sad. So it's kind of nearly impossible for someone to expect a Sonic the Hedgehog live action movie to come. Unless you're a die-hard Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Now just so you know, this is not the first time Sonic the Hedgehog has had a movie. Back in 1996, a Japanese-American film known as Sonic the Hedgehog movie came out in Japan. And in 1999, it was released in the United States of America. In my opinion, this has to be one of the greatest and most underrated creations of anime I have ever seen. Sure, the story could be cheesy sometimes, but it's actually pretty entertaining for a Sonic movie. It does keep you slapped to the seat, and it's really entertaining to watch. And I thought the anime movie was great. It was very fantastic. It had a great storyline. It's a very short movie, but it's a Japanese uh, American movie. It came out in Japan in 1996 in, in America and in America in 99. Um, so yeah, the anime version is actually very great. It's a great movie, a great storyline, and a short movie too, but it's worth the watch. And this movie, it's I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot different compared to this one. It's not even going to be a sequel or a reboot. It's just going to be its own thing. And I would love to see that. It's just that they're going to have to plan the story and what's going to happen and how these characters are going to look. And yeah, since this movie is live action, there's a possible chance for a PG-13 rating. Because all of your favorite characters these days are no longer turning into kid characters. Like Ninja Turtles, back then they were mostly for kids. Like when the, when, but when the live action movie came out, that one was aiming for adults as well, because there were a lot of uh, cool stuff that were happening in this movie. It even had some profanity. Imagine doing that with Sonic the Hedgehog. They even did that with the Super Mario Brothers, and it worked for me. I have no idea why how people hated the Super Mario Brothers movie. I thought it was a smart and clever sci-fi movie, and it does make sense to the game. But I'm not saying I don't want Sony to make this movie. If Sony decided to make a movie about Sonic the Hedgehog, everyone's favorite video game character, they can do it. I just hope they do it right and stick to the classic and New Day Sonic the Hedgehog generation. And don't just go with their own things and mess up the story because most video game movies don't work. There's literally a couple video, video game movies in this world that do work today. And we're getting more video game movies in the future. So like for example, the video game movies that don't work today are like movies like Assassin's Creed, Street Fighter. But when you get movies that are their own thing, that involve other video games, and like Wreck-It Ralph, those movies actually do work and they become very successful. Don't kill me for saying this. I have not seen Ratchet and Clank. But if Hollywood's going to make a movie, especially about one of our favorite video game characters of all time, and one of the most popular, they gotta be careful because Hollywood these days are now running out of ideas. You can't just borrow ideas from other movies. Unless you want to get sued. Now I'm not just saying borrowing ideas, but I mean taking the ideas from the mostly the entire movie. Hollywood is running out of ideas and they need to think of more ideas quick and fast. These days Hollywood's just making these random movies just to make money and they're not some some of these movies that they're making aren't even that good. But I'm just gonna tell you this. Sony. And Sony only. I'm only telling this to Sony. Do not make your own Sonic the Hedgehog. If you want to make a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, feel free to do it. Just stick to the fans that want what they want. Give the fans what they want. Give them the blue hedgehog they want. Give them the good storyline they probably didn't expect. And if you want to change Sonic from a child video game character into and raise him and turn him into some kind of Ninja Turtle form, movie related kind of thing, you can do it, but just do it right. This movie should have been distributed by Warner Brothers. I think they would have been a great. What they think? I think they would have been a great studio if they can do it with Batman. They could do. Now don't get me wrong when I say this. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog has been one of my favorite video game characters of all time. He definitely deserves it. Definitely. I just hope this movie doesn't turn out the way I don't want it to turn out. I just hope it turns out the way fans want it to turn out, and critics and audiences will respect what Sonic the Hedgehog is today and how he can become better in the future. Because this, these days he's not getting a lot of video games, so we kind of do need a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. 
So you guys, thank you guys for watching uh, my uh, video. Um, tell me what you guys uh, think about the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Are you guys excited for it? Are you guys not? Comment down below. Let me know. And always thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Every single one of you. Um, I am near 270 subscribers. I can't wait to hit 300 soon. But anyway, you guys are amazing. I love every single one of you. Just remember that. And, uh, and, th and thank you guys so much for watching all the time. I will be uploading some other videos along with movie reviews along with the continuing my series on the Super Mario Bros. show, you guys are, uh, you guys are actually liking the series so far. Someone even told me that the series is actually successful so far on my channel. So, um, and I was just, you guys, it's just, you guys are amazing. All of you, you're amazing. Just keep on watching my videos and you don't stop watching. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I am MarioFan520 and I will see you next time. Peace out.